Welcome to Hangar Ready. My name is Sam. The boss is away, so I'm going to be making the video instead of him, and hopefully I get to keep my job by the end of this. Today we're going to be talking about macro keyboards. Macro keyboards. Little tiny keyboards with cherry switches that come in various little sizes that can be programmed to do literally any function you want to do on the computer. Why do we care? Well, Star Citizen and other simulator games, they tend to have every single key mapped to something. And in the case of Star Citizen, if you want to talk to people in-game who, who are in close proximity, you have to stop everything you're doing, do the left alt key, then you have to move your hand from your mouse to the number pad and hit the plus button. Some of y'all don't even have full keyboards when you're playing games. I know, heresy. But who got time for that? CIG seems to think that we're the twins from Men in Black, when in actuality, we look more like the WoW guy from South Park. There's a lot of other cool things you can do with keyboards like this, just because you might be using things like Mumble or Discord for your in-game chat. Here's how we set that up. First, we're going to navigate to a website written entirely in pictographs. Make sure your web browser auto-translates Factory Worker into English. Then you're going to download the software. Uh, link is in the description below. Fair warning. If you don't feel comfortable downloading this software, maybe this video isn't for you. Once you've got the software downloaded, plug in your macro keyboard, unzip the folder, run the executable. This is going to open up both a command line interface and a web browser. Don't close either of them. On the web page, you're going to click search for device, or in this case, search device, depending on how the English reads. You're going to select your device. From here, you'll be able to see all the keys that are on your little keyboard, and you will be able to program each function individually. A note, if you're going to use the joystick functionality and you have more than one of these devices set up, all of these devices will be seen as one joystick. And that's all we have for today. I'm getting text messages from my boss asking where I am, and hopefully I don't get fired and I can continue making videos going deeper into detail on all the cool things you can set these up to do. Look for the playlist in the future. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I, I told you, I'm at the job site. No, I'm not in the studio. Why would you think that? Well, maybe someone turned all the lights on and forgot to turn them off.